I'm going to talk about how to get a workaround on the teleporting system for Final Fantasy 14. It's not really a hack or a trick. It's just smart planning. And with new Endwalker transport fees, it can be really expensive. You don't have to worry. There'll be no MSQ spoilers here. I will blur out anything that's going to be Endwalker or on. Let's just jump right into it. The first thing is I just put out a video for Mountain Minions for the Grand Company farming. A lot of people didn't actually know that there were other items that you want to purchase first that kind of have a bigger impact. So let's just go right over to the Grand Company NPC. Once you're here, you'll see that you have three sections. I'm working on a video on how to get to Serpent Captain for a lot of you, since a lot of you don't really have this rank unlocked. The reason you want to get this rank unlocked is not only for the Mountain Minion farming that I talked about in that other video, but also for these twin adder etherite tickets. So many are not actually utilizing this item it's far cheaper than the mountain minion containers but you should always have a stack of these i've just gotten really low because i haven't replenished because i've been doing the other thing here on the material container but you should be buying these like every chance you get this will help lower and absolutely erase the teleport fees for when you have to go back to your grand company here i can buy 12. if we take a look at the teleport menu you'll see when i'm here in gridania that a lot of these are kind of cheap right i still have my company buff on which gives me a minus 20 or 30 percent let's take a look just teleportation reduce fees but as i go down you'll notice is that it starts to get more expensive as I get towards the end game. Now, there's a few ways to handle this. The first thing is to get your free teleport from two step factor authentication from Final Fantasy 14. I've talked about that a little bit in a previous video, but essentially you go into the MOG station and you sign up for two step factor authentication, which means you have to put in an optional code every single time that you log in. It can be a little bit of a pain, but it highly protects your account from getting hacked or spam or anything like that. Once you unlock your two step factor authentication, you get a free teleport, which I've used for the end game. Game, which is blocked out here and it will cost me zero to teleport back over to the main city for the end game once i teleport back you see a lot of these things become expensive again so we're closer up to 800 to a thousand at this point You'll see that new Gridania is still cheap and that's because I have it registered as a favored destination and you get three of these so you can really utilize these to places that you're going to be traveling to a lot. But again, as you go down, now you see that I'm farther away from the main continent that we have higher teleportation fees again. These eight right here are considered end game, but you still see that it's super, super expensive. So I favored one of the destinations that's only gonna cost me 488 gil to transfer to. And now that I transferred here, which is a place that I come to often, you'll see the few things around me are a lot cheaper. This one right here, I'm gonna favor this destination right here and this destination right here in order to um, get the cheaper transfer fees. The great thing is if I'm in any one of these three destinations that I can just simply use to get back to the main continent, the etherite tickets. And these etherite tickets are going to pretty much cost me no money to transfer back, which would be around a thousand at this point. So I've just transferred around three big portions of the map for only 488 gil instead of the thousands of gills that it will cost you. The main thing is to just make sure that you use your favored destinations in a intelligent manner and cover places that you're going to go to often. The free teleport can also be changed at any time as long as you teleport there once. So if I wanted to go here, if you go here and you use favored destination, then you see that I actually have to take away something else which I'm going to take it away New Gridania because I use my etherite tickets for that anyway. And then you'll see a little star. You can also utilize your return button. So I have a return button sent to Yulmore, which is in Shadowbringers. The return has a really long cooldown, but it's still really useful if you're not using it often. So say to somewhere that you only have to go to check a few things or you just go once in a while. 
I wouldn't use your return for like one of the three main cities because the Etherite tickets are going to take you there. So make sure to buy your Etherite tickets. That is just like one of the best items aside from now mount and minion farming. And a lot of people should be spending their seals on this. If you haven't unlocked that yet, I am going to put out a video for unlocking the squadrons. So just make sure to limit break three and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can see when that video is going to come out. I really hope this kind of help open your eyes a little bit to how to work the teleport system because there is a way to not spend thousands and thousands and thousands of gills when teleporting. Even though we make more gill, if you're newer and you don't have a big gill reserves, this could still really eat into your um, pocket. I want to thank you guys for watching the video and I really want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters for your continued support. It really helps me to keep putting content out on this channel. If you want to watch more Endwalker tutorials, then you can click here.